Hey, yo, we are back in the fridge, so you know what time it is. It is TikTok time, baby. One of my favorite series to film on this channel today. We have got several really viral TikTok recipes and food hacks that we're gonna be trying out. It's gonna be fire. We're gonna make them, we're gonna rate them, and we're gonna tell you if they're legit or not. So without any further ado, let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and we're about to jump into these TikToks right away. Two things, one, could you please hit that like and subscribe button? button down below and drop a comment. I'm always down there talking with y'all. And two, I'm wearing a beanie so you know that means I need a haircut today. It's bad. Okay, let's jump into this first one. We'll start off nice and simple and dive into the deeper ones. Here we go. Sometimes TikTok doesn't clutch with these life hacks. Like, you ever see the one about the orange if you cut it? Love oranges. In the center. Cut it in the center. And then you can just take it and kind of just pop okay. it out like this. Look at that. No Three, way. Seven. No way! Okay, as a Florida boy, born and raised, you know oranges is my thing. We gotta try this, come on. All right, all you need is three things, an orange, a knife, and your singers. Here we go, he said right down the middle, which is gonna be right here, because that's the nipple of it. Right down the middle, watch this, how sharp this knife is. And then he said he just went like, I mean, he was probably using a smaller orange, but I mean, technically it worked, right? I don't know. All right, I'm not a rocket scientist, but we did exactly what he said and it didn't work. And he said orange. He didn't say tangerine. He didn't say anything like that. So let's try again. Thumbs in the back, right on the nipple. And then we're just gonna slowly. Yeah, no, it's just, it's not working. You know what I think? Honestly, I think he said orange, but I think he used a tangerine. And I think it will work, cause like it starts to, if you get a nice close shot, if you push from the bottom, it definitely, they like start to split apart like that. So I think it's just not necessarily for an orange, maybe a smaller, thinner peel, it would work. So on a star scale, for an orange, this gets a one, cause it didn't work. But for a tangerine, I'm sure it works. I'll give it a five. Orange, you glad that that last one kind of failed a little bit? That was bad, right? Anyway, all right, let's jump into the next TikTok. It's got no audio, because it's got Drizzy Drake playing, and we can't have that, or else we can't monetize the video. So, let's go. Recipes that help me lose 35 pounds. All right, cut up a tomato, some avocado, salt, guac. All right, don't tell me we're about to cook the guac. No, some sort of pesto. Okay, you put the tomatoes in there? The eggs? Oh, okay, so it's a toast. Honey with eggs and feta? I gotta keep it real. I, mm, I don't know, I don't know if I like those flavor profiles, but we're gonna find out right now. Thomas with a foot fetish, Tom ate toes. Whoa, we caught that over the head, bring it back around. Let's go, let's slice this thing. This is what tomato knives are built for, baby, right here. Look at that slice, look at that slice. I got a sugar rush right now because I just ate a protein bar. Two things, one, I don't know if Miss TikTok girl salted her tomatoes, but you know you have to salt both sides in order to pull out that delicious tomato flavor. Number two, Marty, welcome to more seasoning. What's good, sweet girl? All right, I'll go myself. Here's a little avocado hack, ready? I know you guys normally do this, right? You like slide it in, roll it around, knead both sides, and then you twist and pop, except we're gonna turn 45 degrees. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Careful not to remove your fingers. And then look, 25 cents, 25 cents, 25. What does that mean? It means quarters, baby. Watch how easy this is to peel off now. Okay, well that made me a liar, but look at that. Beautiful. Now pay close attention. I'm gonna teach you how to properly smash an avocado. Come here, come here. <laughs> now we just need to salt and pepper this mother up. Here we go. Oil in. Y'all be thinking in a while, this pesto right here. Nuzzle those tomatoes into the pesto. This ain't a script, but we still gotta flip it. Let's go. Y'all catch that one in a second. I thought it was spinach, but it is in fact arugula. So we're gonna go in here, spread that arugula out. I was gonna use spinach, but Jamari's like, you can't do that. You gotta follow the recipe. One egg going in. An egg in a forest of arugula. Here we go, number two. Look at that. Yolks intact. In fact, better get back before it impacts. <laughs> Out of that shit fast. Woo! Cover it up. Two to three minutes. You wanna know why I call this Dave's Killer Bread? Take a look. Oh yeah, that'll definitely kill you. Don't consume that. That's a lot of penicillin. Well, good thing for us. We got a second one that will not kill you. Let's toast it. Here's a little progress photo right here. Whether this is what was intended or not, I'm unsure of, but we're gonna let that cool down just a pinch, just like that, a little pinch, uh -huh. and then wait for this toast to toast, and then we can put this thing together. Avocado on the toast. 
Found that little Tommy boy on there. And then, honestly, if you ask me, it looked like she had a little, what we like to call herbs de province. A little drizzle on the top. All right, man, we got honey. But I think I'll do the feta first because I want the feta. Throw them crumbles on there. That boy just crumbled right off. That little mic's hot. Here we go. Honey, I shrunk the kids. We're gonna waste no time. We're going in for a taste test in three, two, one. I'm so fucking hungry. Let me get back to you, hold on. All right, after my calculations, I did not have high expectations for this. It just looked like a bunch of random food thrown together. But the honey with the cheese, the, the pesto, the tomato, it's really good. Honestly, for a healthy meal, I mean, even for a regular breakfast, like I'm giving this a 4.5. Yes, there are a few minor things that we could do to upgrade this, maybe add some like crispy turkey bacon or something along the lines of that. But I love this, this is great. I could eat this a couple times a week, absolutely. Great job. All right, after that shocking W, let's go to the next one. If you want to eat healthy, Ooh. you have to give up your favorite foods. Well, I'm going to show you why that's okay, not true. Okay, a little potato. Off, potatoes are considered a low-calorie food. One uh. pound of potato has 400 calories, uh -huh. whereas one pound of bread has over 1,200 calories. And by okay. air frying instead I mean, of deep frying, we potato essentially created healthy. a healthier French fry. Chicken breast is high in protein and Cube low in the calories. Chicken. And don't be afraid to season it season. for that additional flavor. Chop okay. up that chicken finely, then assemble using low-fat mozzarella cheese, okay. any vegetables you like, and my secret homemade low-calorie yogurt ranch. And this is why you should follow me, because I make... That looks gas. And apparently it's lower calorie. I mean, listen, I'm gonna try it either way. Let's go. All right, we got a potato right here. Let's go ahead and cut this boy up. All right, French fry thickness. There we go. Oh, that's a little thick. All he does is cut them into lines like this. I mean, that is a, that's a big French fry. We're gonna try it though. Let's do it. We came to party with some papas. A little oil, nice pinch of salt, a bunch of pepper. What do you do before you bake? Spread them out. One single layer. Potatoes, 400, air fry. Well, all right, that wasn't supposed to be there, but actually the air fry is supposed to be below. Whatever, we'll see how it goes. All right, we got a chicken breast right here. Let's go ahead and slice, dice, hit it real nice. God, this is like juicy. All right, and then what we do, strips, just like this, ready? First strip, we want nice even pieces. Second strip, you just line them up and then, all right, I got some bok choy, get it? Bok chicken, right? No, okay, anyway, let's go ahead. Drop them boys in, spread them out. Check me out like a cashier. I got my good big cock ranch liberally. Then I got some slap your mother seasoning. I got the hot blend right here. There we go, more seasoning, baby. Get in there. Go ahead and we're gonna mix it up. And then one more time with the slap your mama. Oh, we lost one. Get his ass. <laughs> That season, yeah, boy. And it slapped my mom, it slapped me. The crickets really hit me with the crickets, bro? Come on. Listen, we definitely got some burnt ones. You know what I mean? Them little guys, they didn't, they didn't last. But these ones look pretty good. My question is, are they burnt all the way through? No, a little crispy. All right, here's our chicken. Now we just gotta fine chop it up. All right, and there we go, some chopped chicken. All right, now we gotta partially assemble. So we're going fries in our plate and we're doing low fat mozzarella. Got that chicken, spread that boy out. A little more cheese on top. Now we gotta melt this. I'm gonna just put it in there on warm. We're gonna start with a red onion, check it out. Look, boom, just like this. Nice little red onion pieces. Use that knuckle to block. Next thing you know, you've got Beautiful little red onion. All right, we have red onion. Now we got green. We're just gonna go down. We're just gonna cut these very thinly at an angle, just like that. We got our tomato from early. I'm gonna just use about a quarter of it. Ah, uh, we'll do half. All right, let's make some low-fat ranch. We got some low-fat or non-fat yogurt right here. So I'm just gonna put some into this bowl. Now we've got Hidden Valley. I'm just doing what they did. Well, I'm assuming this is what he did. Now we're just gonna mix it in until we get it to a flavor that we like, honestly. Woo, let me tell y'all, not only does this Smell incredible, but it sounds incredible. Listen, that's hot. Let's go ahead and decorate this real quick. Here we go, red onion. Let's sprinkle all that out. All right, then we got green onion. We got some tomatoes. Pickled jalapeno. Okay, but here's the thing. These are big ass pieces, and I think I just want to cut these in half. And then we can go ahead and just dance, dance revolution. Okay, we got two things left to do. One, well, three. One, wash your hands. Two, I've got this homemade little yogurt ranch right here, and I want to drizzle it. And then it looks like he goes through with is something like sriracha. I'm going to do a little bit, just because this chicken is already going to have a little kick to it. So, a little pressure here, done, look at that. All right, here we go, a little chicken, french fry, cheese, something like that. Okay, it's cheesy, it's hot, it's chickeny. Here we go, three, two, one. 
All right, so I have to say, for this being lower calorie, it doesn't taste like it. I'm getting all the elements. I'm getting the cheesiness. I'm getting the French fries. You know what I mean? They're not crispy fries, but I gotta give this a, like a 4.5, cause really I wouldn't change much to, in order to keep this on the lower calorie side. Maybe add crumbled bacon or an extra flavor of low fat cheese just to, you know, get those flavors in there a little bit more. But yeah, this is great. Great job. All right, that chicken and cheese with the French fries is pretty good, but we have what seems to be a trend where the last one that we always try ends up being the best. So let's check it out. Healthy, low calorie, creamy chicken. I mean, it's so easy and delicious. It's one of the I mean, that looks amazing. Oh, we dice some chicken up again. Oil, garlic powder, paprika, basil, red chili flakes, and salt. Okay. Mix till the chicken changes color. Then make the sauce with low fat cream cheese, low fat milk, okay. parmesan, more garlic powder, basil, okay, we going and in grams. Flakes. Okay. Blend till completely smooth, then okay. get a pan on medium heat, cook the oh, chicken this is for easy. three minutes, then lower the heat completely, uh -huh. add the sauce and a handful of spinach, cover for two minutes, simmer okay. till the sauce thickens, serve with mm. pasta or rice, and that's it. Yeah, that looks, that looks fire. We can do that real quick. Let's go. All right, we're on the last one. Let's make it quick. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with this chicken. We're going strips and then cubes. So we're taking our chicken. We're gonna put it in a bowl. Oil, basil, mm, garlic, smoke of the paprika, a little red chili, and a little salt bay. Mix. All right, so we ended up right here as far as the seasonings go on the chicken, nice and colored. Shout out Miss Diana from my Wolfgang Puck Bowl, by the way. All right, we doing 90 grams. Low fat cream cheese, that was only 23. So we got 67 more to go. 120 milliliters of low fat milk. I'm using a whole because I don't 15 grams of some Parmesan. All right, now we've got some basil. Again, I'm just eyeballing because that's why I have them in my head. Go, there we go. All right, look, and then we just take this, spin it, shake it, flip it, pop it, rock it. All right, let's cook this chicken. We had a point in the video where I just start acting ridiculous, so I'm gonna try to behave as well as I can. There goes our chicken, and we're gonna spread them out and flip these. Adam Sandler, Drew Barry, more blended. All right, we're pouring this in. Here we go. Get on a nice low heat, and then we also have to throw a handful of spinach in. Get on a nice low heat, and they said we have to cover it too. One, two minutes, 120 seconds, 285 milliliters. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know that. All right, act like we're going to a nudist resort and remove the top. Let's go ahead, make sure this thing is turned all the way down. And then we just let that simmer up for a few minutes. And then it's supposedly going to be amazing. We're gonna wait till the sauce thickens up and then we will go to judgment. All right, I want you to act like you're in my window at night and check me out. Look at how nice and thick we got right here. Beautiful, that's exactly where I wanna be. Oh my God, I just forgot. We didn't make the rice, which is why I'm gonna show you a hack. It's called microwavable rice. All right, we got rice and we got chicken and now we about to have chicken and rice. Here we go. Probably could have pulled this off a hair earlier to get a little bit more of the sauce vibe. So here here we go. We're just gonna go right in, give this a try. It smells good, peppery, spicy. Here we go, three, two. That was really, really good. I'm a spice guy. It's very peppery. All right, straight up on the star scale, that's a five. It's delicious. Texture is amazing. Flavor out of this world. The heat was perfect. I can't think of anything. Per it, it tastes like I cooked that for an hour and a half to get it to taste like it did. That was incredible. And the fact that this is a healthy recipe is just, it doesn't make any sense in my head. All right, so truth is we started off a little rough with the orange, but I think in the end that one would work. And then we followed it up with great recipe after great recipe. Like I have no complaints. That was the most successful TikTok tasting we have done yet. Before y'all leave, please make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Drop a comment below. My name is Farnham. This is more seasoning. And those were viral TikToks that have been tasted and approved. There's my stamp of approval. We out.